Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another Grand Tour review. And this week it is the Columbia Special review. Now, um, it, the, the Grand Tour returned for season three last week and it announced on the first episode that the next two episodes was going to be a special, the Columbia Special. So that's what this is. It's episode two and three. And it was a two-part. They showed, they showed the first episode on Friday, and they showed the second episode today on Saturday, uh, making up the Columbia special. Now, one of the best parts about when they used to do Top Gear was always the specials. They are they have done some outstanding ones over the years, some really really fun ones, and they're always my favourite parts of what they do. Now, last year on the Grand Tour, we didn't really get a full-on special. We had like an hour-long special when they went to Africa to like and they were carting that fish 200 miles but it was like a mini special really whereas this one now is a full on two parter and very very similar to what we used to get in the past and they are tasked with heading off to Colombia um, to take some wildlife photographs uh, which immediately you know that these guys are going to cock that up um, so they head over to Colombia they, they meet something like four in the morning on a beach Clarkson turns up with um, a jeep um, James May turns up in a Fiat Panda 4x4 and there's no sign of Richard Hammond so they're waiting and they're waiting and then they noticed a flare in the middle of the sea and he's there floating to the shore in the sea on top of his car that's wrapped in polystyrene <laughs> and bubble wrap um, so it's floating to the shore. They ask how he got there, and he, ex he explained that it was thrown off the side of a ship, basically. And littered throughout this episode, I mean, we all know what Colombia is synonymous with in regards to the media and stuff, and the, it's the drug trafficking, etc. Um, and they don't directly make reference to that in this episode, in this in this special, but they keep making suggestions and things. So like, you know, chucking the car over the side, wrapped in bubble wrap, etc. That's um and so the the constantly dropping hints throughout this two part are about the drug tra drug trafficking but they never actually directly address it. Which I thought was really, really fun. So they eventually get him to shore and then they set off and, and Hammond has got a huge monster truck basically. Um, massive wheels, um, a big pickup truck, monster truck. So they set off on this trip, and they are tasked initially. They just they're just photographing everything badly, um, and the first thing they do is actually get the cameras. Um, Richard Hammond goes completely over the top and gets all the gear you could ever imagine buying for a photographer. Jeremy Clarkson just gets a nice camera with a massive lens. And James May just gets a bog standard digital camera. Um, and they head off and they're initially photographing anything and everything if, if it's wildlife, including flies, pigeons, dogs, donkeys, you name it, they're just taking pictures of it. And then the producers give them their task and they say, right, you've got to take pictures of these certain creatures. So they've got. Uh, so what's the first thing they have to. It's things like um, a cougar condor a hippopotamus and a bear um they've got to specifically get that like, these four creatures which is hard for them to do certainly for the hippopotamus because uh, hippopotamus are indigenous to colombia so they're really really scratching their head how they're going to do that one so they set off and they've got to photograph these animals in the wild they're not allowed to go to a zoo and photograph them they have to do it in the wild so they set off on this huge adventure um, all the usual shenanigans take place. There's a, it, it's absolutely hilarious this episode. Actually, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was one of the strongest specials I've seen for many a year, and they have done some really good. Spe it's definitely the best special they've done on the Grand Tour. I quite like the beach buggy one they did, um, but this is this was classic um, Top Gear stroke Grand Tour stuff. This it really, really was. Um, it was very very funny they find um, these donkeys that are taking pictures of um, and they notice that locals are a little bit too familiar with these donkeys and which leads to some really really hilarious stuff it's really really funny um, they're constantly falling out uh, rocks are thrown it's just a really really enjoyable special this um, 
like I say, it's a two-parter. You can watch it now on Amazon Prime, both parts. And I strongly recommend it if you're a fan of these guys. If you're a fan of the Grand Tour, or if you're a fan of Top Gear and you want to get into the Grand Tour, this is a great, great one to watch, guys. It was so much fun. Um, hilarious at times. I just can't tell you how much fun it was this episode so i'm delighted i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 it was hugely entertaining really looking forward to the coming episodes in this series and it's off to a flying start for sure so i hope you enjoyed this review and i'll see you next time on screen stars